Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. For a personal reading, please visit my website. All the information is in the description box below. All right. So, Kindle Partnership. So, Aries, with this card, the first thing I'm picking up is that there may be someone coming into your life that is um, very, ha like, joyful. I see joyful, happiness, um also soulmates okay i'm also picking up that there is and also this is a joyful time okay you're you're starting to experience something new aries something new to like to your spirit um it, it's almost like some type of come together or some type of like something is reuniting within you spirit what are the messages please oh, okay so we have loving man so Aries, I feel like someone is coming towards you um, because of this weekend is uh, Valentine's Day or going into the week. This person is going to start showing you how much they really care about you, okay? Um, or this could be you. And I feel like this is bringing, shedding some light on a certain situation. Um, you may have felt like you and this person, you were unsure about this person, but I feel like someone is opening up to you, showing you how much they care, how much they really appreciate you and enjoy your time. Okay. Share what the messages, please, for Aries. Other messages for Aries, please. Other messages for Aries. For the next 72 messages for Aries, please, Spirit. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So, Aries, we have two of pentacles. And I feel like with this, you're just trying to balancing balance out some type of situation. But I feel like you're balancing energies within yourself. Because again, I feel like with, um, especially with the number one, it's like a new start for you. Okay. And then we have the two is just bringing these two things together. It's actually showing me like you're on a new journey, a new path, but you're protected with the umbrella over her. Okay. And I feel like this union is protected. Um, I feel like you're just trying to balance out these different energies or different things that you're feeling. Okay. With the hermit. It's like you're, you've been in, you've been to yourself for so long or, or taking so much time out for self that I feel like now you're opening up. But also I feel like when this new person or whoever this is that's coming into your life or that is in your life, I feel like you're just trying to balance out the time that you need for yourself to think in the time that you have for this other person. Okay. And how you're going to bring this energy into your um, environment. Spare what the messages, please. And also, um, they're showing me like inner wisdom, like how you're going to, um, how you're going to pull this wisdom in and pertaining to this relationship. There's some knowledge or some wisdom, some wisdom within you of how to deal with a certain situation. And I feel like, um, Aries, there has been some heartbreak, some heartache here. And I feel like because of that, it's kind of showing in the reading that you're trying to balance out how you really feel within yourself. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles, you may deal be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. But with this, this is it, it's almost like you're kind of closed off a little bit, um, Aries. And because of that being closed off, you're unsure of how to show how you truly feel or what you want to um, show. It's almost like you're afraid of showing your true feelings due to maybe some past hurts, some things that have um, hindered you in the past. And you're, again, that you're unsure of how you want to um, open up. And it's like, you know, you, you're, you're looking for stability and security and you don't want anything to, you know, really mess up this energy between you and this person. Okay. We have the eight of swords. So with the eight of swords, you feel kind of like, you know, alone, you, uh, again, you feel like you're not able to move forward or pull yourself out of certain situations, but I feel like you are able to do this, but these are lessons with the seven of swords. These are lessons that it's been being taught to you or shown to you. Okay. 
Spirit, what are the messages, please, for Aries? Messages for Aries for the next 72, please, Spirit. Messages for Aries for the next 72. Messages for Aries, Spirit, please. Yeah, Aries, with the Two of Swords, you could be um, just experiencing some, a little bit of confusion due to not sure of which way to go, what decision to make, if you should go left or right. But I feel like Spirit is trying to guide you, show you the way, okay? Um, it, it's almost like, you know, you're in between the sun and the light. Sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days. But I feel like there may be some stubborn energy here. Also, like you're, uh, again, with that unsurety because you feel kind of trapped in your own thoughts sometimes spirit well the messages please messages for there it is. yeah with the page of wands you and this person may be um taking um going somewhere or maybe uh traveling but i feel like there may be also some messages coming through for you um aries that someone may be wanting to have like more of a deeper conversation with you to really show you exactly what they feel, how they fear, feel about you. And I feel like, again, I keep picking up this loneliness within you. Like you're, you're around this person, but you still feel like there may be something that needs to be uncovered about this person. Is this really true? Um, it's like you're trying to figure this out you're trying to figure this person out if they're a really true person if they really feel the way they you know what they say is true spirit what are messages please messages for aries spirit we have the seven of pentacles so things are starting to move on and progress for you um i feel like you you're just trying to figure out what is the best option where do you go from here okay but i feel like things are going to start moving for you um aries but again you you are in that energy of <clears throat> is this true you know, but I feel like there is light at the end of the tunnel and no matter what light is being shined on this person, a new path is being opened to you so that you can see through any illusion or anything that has um, avoid or you feel that has avoided you. But I feel like things are starting to move forward. Spare what are messages, please, for Aries? Messages for Aries, please. We have the King of Cups. So Aries, you could be dealing with a Pisces, um, Scorpio, or a, um, oh God, Cancer. But I feel like the thing is, is that this person may hide their feelings sometimes. Um, they may not always show everything. They may not, um, they may, but again, I feel like for some of you, you feel like this person is hiding something. They're not they're they're not being truthful about something and i feel like you're you're trying to really figure out what is the truth here and what is eluding you or if it's anything and we have at the bottom of the deck the moon so aries i feel like again like i said i really feel like some you feel like someone is not being totally honest or there may be some type of untruth around you okay so right now i'm going to throw some All right, so the first thing that we have here is the moon, um, the moon note, okay? The moon's note. So this is about bonding, tides, connections, okay? So I feel like um, you're trying to, again, that brings us right back to the Kindle partnerships. Um, so pulling together, bringing together, okay? You may be also astral uh, traveling um, during your sleep, okay? But again, I feel like you're trying to just figure out what is the best thing for you, what is good for you, what is your best options and um, choices, okay? We also have the number three, okay? So that's bringing me to you being very, um, you know, joyful. And like I said, that joy, happiness, um, it's just a consciousness. Um, it's it's about reproduction and also um, just that, like, again, that harmony, that creativity, coming up with different ideas and things like that. Um, just trying to open up and see things for what they truly are. Okay. So, you know, we also have Pisces here. Okay. And with Pisces, 
I feel like, you know, Pisces is a mutable water sign. So, and it's ruled by Neptune. So I feel like there's a lot of sensitivity here, very, a lot of compassion, okay? And you're trying to adapt to a certain situation, okay? And again, like I said, I, I really feel like some of this is due to uh, just being unsure of which way to go and what's the best option because you're trying to adapt, okay? Um, I'm also picking up uh, something about, um, uh, I can't even say the word, I'm sorry. Uh, like you're evolving, okay? So I feel like you're just trying to, again, you know, adapt to this. And I feel like, again, you're evolving within, but this person is helping you to see a clear path or something that's opening up, some type of door that's opening up for you. Okay, so thank you so much, Aries. Please like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.